All right, guys, frost walls, framing a basement. Man, oh man, framing basements is a big deal, guys. A lot of houses, especially almost every house, uh, is framed out of steel stud, the basements. And it's a good idea to, to use steel in concrete. It's just, it's just a fabulous idea because it, it does not hold moisture and you guys can build a, a good frost wall. Okay, so here we are. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm coming one inch out from the concrete walls, okay? You need to have one inch air space uh, between the wall and your uh, the back side of your steel stud wall, okay? So go uh, four and five eighths on a three and five eighths wall. Then you snap your line and you can see here I have multiple lines and that's because the wall is not straight. So you gotta, you gotta play with it so that no matter where the, full, the farthest point sticking out is, you have an inch. So in some spots you'll be two inches, whatever. In this case, it was like crazy, like two inches, two and a half inches. This, these, this foundation was really bad. See that? That was a fishtail. A fishtail uh, I cut because uh, once I get my first track in, I use two lasers, two pin lasers to get my first track in, and then look, boom, I can do it by my, like, just so easy cutting a fishtail. The one end with the fishtail is already level. I clamp the other side, okay, to, the pin, to a pin laser, and then screw it all in. Super simple. So with doing basements, guys, Get, all, get, get, get your layout done, all right? I, I like to go around and do my whole layout and, um, and then lay out all my bottom track. Make sure you caulk the bottom track with chemtrail, okay? The, the acoustical caulking, the black caulking, uh, you, uh, it's a really good thing to do, a good practice to do is to caulk all the bottom track in a basement with the, chem tr with the chem, chemtron, sorry, the uh, acoustical black caulking, okay? I didn't film it here, but I filmed it so many times before, I, I just forgot to this time. But don't forget that, okay? Caulk the bottoms with the black caulking. All right, so you can see here now, I, I just screwed it in. And um, as you frame, as you put the walls in, make sure you get your channel in, okay? The channel is important because all these walls will be insulated. So you need to hold the insulation up. Uh, I apologize about the fast camera movements, by the way, guys. Like, I have limited time to film, okay? Like, could you imagine filming on site on your job? It's just something, like, I do on my breaks, and I'll do, like, quick filming at the ends of certain things, okay? Um, but the, the main point here is you need a continuous uh, seal of drywall all the way around the perimeter, Okay, so here I'm going to have a floater as well to tie in that, that corner. And, um, but you can see here, okay, there's going to be a nice seal all the way around the perimeter. Okay, and that's important. So get all your bottom track laid out and even shoot in. I shoot my, my end studs into the, wall, into the concrete wall, okay, and um, I'll go and I'll tack in all my bottom track. Like I'll tack in the ends, the middle, or the one end, middle, and then end. Okay, and then um, at the very end, after we've got all our cuts done, I'll go in and hammer drill or shoot in the rest. Okay, simple as that. Just go and tack all in all your track in, so that you can get your pieces cut, and um, and then and then yeah, then you come back and shoot in the rest. Okay, I know the film is going really really quick, guys, but trust me here, I don't have a lot of time to film. I I just want to show you guys, but watch the last two minutes of this video because there's going to be some tricks coming. Okay, trust me. So you can see here, I'm just tacking it in. That's what I'm showing here. I'm just tacking it in with three pins uh, per ten foot track or whatever cut in uh, that I, I have. Okay, doors, everything's the same. Okay, lay out everything, everything the same. Uh, but I just want you to realize there, there's, there's got to be a continuous seal all the way around the perimeter. The basement walls always get insulated and poly. All right, so I'm using clips, okay? If you, if you don't know how to use clips or make clips, I'm making clips in the last video that I, um, that I put out. And uh, you can watch it here. I'll put a, I'll put a card. But anyways, um, yeah. So always get your bottom track laid out and... Um, and uh, and get it shot in, and then simple shoot the, the top in or screw it in. Sorry to the studs. This here is like a floating part where I was kind of getting creative, and um, I just floated it right. I put track on the wall, okay, and and then put my wall into the into that, and then I put flat stock. You can see on the top there to hold it, but it's kind of just floating there. Okay, something you do is so strong. Like yeah, you can see so strong, right? Um, sometimes you just got to be creative. Okay, if you don't have like a two inch angle, like I would have preferred here, use some track, no big deal. Okay, uh, just make sure that it's, it's, um, it's secure and level. Okay, and, and plumb all your studs up and you're good to go. Okay, um, but there's just certain ways of doing things and 
Um, yeah, that's just one of the ways. Uh, the, the window walls and all that, uh, which is coming up next, uh, you can see just, yeah, headers, um, just the normal door headers, normal door openings. If you need to know about headers and things like that, I have other videos for that. Um, I just want to talk about basements right now. And, it, and it's just important to um, have that perimeter seal. It's important to have the, uh, the caulking underneath the bottom track, okay, for water. And, um, and then, yeah, like it's just, it's just, it's just like a framing a normal, uh, normal, like a uh, house or a floor after that. Right. But you got to get your channel in before you close your walls in. Okay. So before you screw in all your studs and, and, I'm, and, and you see how I have the, uh, the drywall is always going to, uh, run through, uh, completely and, and the floaters will tie into the, the drywall on the perimeter. Okay. That's important. And then you can see my fishtails and things like that. Once you get your 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 starter track uh, leveled and and screwed in, okay, all you have to do is uh, you know cut cut those fishtails and blah blah blah. This is a door opening, and in this situation, there's a big there's a door and window. But um, my next video, I will be showing you guys how I frame bulkheads, okay? And in the, especially in this situation, there, there's just a couple of little tricks that you guys are definitely gonna want to know in the next video. But yeah, you can see you use floaters, do everything like you normally do. You just gotta make sure you see right there how I left the uh, the inside interior wall further back so that the actual corner can tie in and I have that complete seal around the frost wall. Okay. You understand that? That's important. Um, so like I will drywall into that one floater and then I'll be able to drywall into the board on the other side. It's perfect. Right. But always make sure you got space for your floaters. Like the, I'm doing here. I go three quarters of an inch all the time. It doesn't even matter if it's half inch or five eighths. Just go three quarter all the time. Um, and there you go. There's uh, clips again. Um, yeah. Clips are just like, yeah, we had to use a lot of clips in this place. Uh, you got to have an inch, one inch airspace between the concrete and your steel. You're going to have to insulate and poly these walls in drywall, okay? But you can see right there, like I said, you want a continuous seal all the way around the perimeter. So that, that board is going to go right through there, and I'm going to tie that floater in later, okay? And, and after, I, like I said, my next video, I got, um, I'm got i going to show you how I did the uh, the, the bulkheads, okay? This is, I got a couple of different bulkheads, not just in the basement, but upstairs as well that I'm showing you. And um, But yeah, keep all your headers at pretty much the same height as long as the doors are the same size, which in this case they all are. Um, and, um, yeah, like it's just, it's just, it's just good practice to, uh, to, to, to always check your layouts ahead of time. And, um, like these window wells, like I'm just lasering them down and squaring them across and copying the window opening so that we'll have a drywall return there for the window. And, um, yeah, it'll look great. But, um, the one last trick, okay. Final trick crimpers. Okay. For frost walls, you have to crimp the backside. Now don't Squeeze your crimpers all the way, okay? There's like two levels, okay? Half crimp, half crimp. Do not go full bitch crimp. Just go half crimp. Do not put it all the way through. All right, this is Chris. Guys, I'll see you on the next video right here. Bye for now.